Greetings, LGR here with some fantastic news, to me at least. <laughs> I've got the Hot Wheels computer fully restored, working even better than it did when it was brand new. It's complete, got all the stuff in here, minus a little bit of the software, but I mean, you know, I've, I've got the uh, the full manual and everything. It, it's It's all here. This makes me so happy because these things just died off. They were cheaply made, horrible to work on. In fact, I've got a video coming up of uh, restoring one of these types of computers here pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. It's gonna be like 20 minutes of me <laughs> getting really angry. But uh, this is, it's all back together. Just look at it in all its luster. It's a great looking and yet silly looking machine at the same time. I I'm just, I, I really dig the blue. In fact, I went all out with this thing. I actually went and got a Hot Wheels blue power cable just to match the rest of it. And I actually plan to uh, duplicate the flame paint job with uh, some paints here pretty soon on the power cable. So there's flames going into here and the end of the walls, flames everywhere. Let me go ahead and just turn it on here because it's, it's wonderful. Uh, new CPU cooler, new fans, uh, new RAM, new CMOS battery, put the original blue CD-ROM back in there, uh, fixed up the floppy drive, even had to repair the mouse because the left mouse button wasn't working, so I got some replacement parts and soldered them in there, and it's all good now, man. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and um, take a look at this once it starts up, and I will play some games with the steering wheel. And uh, just to kind of show you this thing in action, because, man, I am super proud of this. It has taken... So many hours of work to get this thing running. And uh, it's worth it, man, at least as far as I'm concerned, because I wanted to get this thing stock. So we got Windows 98 SE right here. We're going to have a little login, but who cares? Just press Enter. Like my uh, custom Hot Wheels <laughs> intro right there. Hot Wheels leading way, because 90s. Well, admittedly, there's not a whole lot to see at this point, but I have given it a... Nice custom Hot Wheels background and a Hot Wheels mouse cursor and Hot Wheels sound effects and everything like that at the start. So, uh, you know, I, I like to trick out things like this when it's such an obvious theme. The only thing I actually have installed on here at the moment is Hot Wheels Stunt Track Driver 2 Get mm, Dirty, at least as far as the Hot Wheels game. We'll take a look at that here in a moment, but let me just go ahead and show you that uh, I was surprised to see that it actually supports DOS games rather well, at least some of them. There's some problems with sound uh, at times, but I was able to get Doom 2 uh, going pretty pretty decently here. General MIDI for the music and uh, a Sound Blaster emulation for the sound effects. Has one of those really crappy integrated Sound Max sound cards in here, so it's not even a sound card, you know, just a sound thing on a chip. Yeah, it hurt me plenty. Ah, give me that uh, freaking chainsaw. That's what I need. Hot Wheels! This was during the time of uh, like legacy free weirdness. And that just means they were not really supporting older standards at this point. So we've got no sound effects or music or anything with Commander Keen 4, for instance. So uh, it you know, unless through the PC speaker, you can do that, but it doesn't work with uh, a lot of DOS game sounds, which, you know, whatever, this is a Windows 98 PC that is just a pure gimmick, so I guess I can kind of forgive that. I've got plenty of other computers if I want to play DOS games with proper sound, with proper sound cards. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and try out good old Hot Wheels Stunt Track Driver 2 here, and... I'm going to adjust the camera's position so you can see me playing with the steering wheel. And go figure that this thing is actually a piece of crap. Um, it's got suction cups underneath there that it's it's supposed to uh, stick to your desk. And of course, this isn't a desk, it's just a little card table and it's not going to do anything. There's a little screwy thing there, but that isn't actually tightening on anything because of the way the table is designed. So uh, we've just got a kind of a floppy steering wheel. But I mean, this will work. I think. So yeah, the steering wheel is not force feedback or anything. Of course not. It's pretty much the cheapest steering wheel imaginable, but it does have these nice rubber grips and it's spring loaded in here. It's got a little clicky uh, 
gear changer of sorts. And pedals, sort of. It's really just like a button. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's kind of awful. But whatever, man, what do you expect for something made for like eight-year-old boys? Actually, people expected a whole lot more, to tell you the truth, and that's why these things failed. They were ridiculously overpriced for what they were. And, uh, you know, a lot of you have asked in the previous video, why don't I just, like, upgrade this thing like crazy? Well, it's just, it's tiny, there's no room to put anything in there, and I could, like, mini ITX it out, yes, but I don't want to. Not this one. If I get another one, I'm gonna pimp it. I'm gonna go crazy. But, for this one, I wanted to restore it to its original glory. <laughs> There's a significant dead zone, at least with this game. Uh, I'm not actually not sure how to control everything. What flips? There's the flip. Okay, that kind of makes sense, sort of. Arrgh! I feel like this thing is going to fall off the table at any moment. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> I love these games. They're so simple. Just full motion video, a tiny little 3D model, and that's that's about it. And playing with the steering wheel is exponentially more difficult than playing with a keyboard. So, uh, screw this. Oh, another thing. Some of you were asking uh, how this thing plugs in, since there's no game port on here, and this is actually a USB wheel setup. And so, yeah, it's not serial or anything like that. It is a USB steering wheel, which is pretty neat. Everything in here is, uh, it plugs in via USB. So USB keyboard, USB mouse, USB steering wheel. You, oh, well, there goes that. <laughs> but yeah, that is the Hot Wheels computer really quickly. I will be doing a, a more detailed video, like I said, of repairing one of these kinds of computers. And then at some point I would like to do sort of a more proper review of these things and how they came to be and all that stuff. Because I, I really do find these fascinating. It's one of those legendary machines that you always heard of. At least I always did. I was like, oh man, I heard of some kid at school. He had a Hot Wheels computer. What? Are you kidding me? So yeah, it's just, it's neat. It's an interesting little piece of history that uh, it sucks. But it's something that... It's, I think, worth repairing and, and looking into. Oh, Patriot computers. They went bankrupt because of these things. <laughs> they were so bad. Uh, I, I really can't wait for y'all to see the uh, repair video because I'm telling you, it's, it's an adventure to get one of these things working because there's a lot of challenges that you don't get from a lot of modern systems. Well, that's pretty much it for this quick update. Thank you very much for watching.